Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the latest Hurricane Tracker app video update recorded on Saturday, August 20th, 2016 at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Activity is beginning to pick up in the tropics as expected as we are heading towards the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, which is typically uh, the end of August through about early to mid-October. And based on the latest uh, outlooks for the rest of the season, we are expecting at least average activity, even a uh, 20 to 30 percent chance that we could see above average activity. So it definitely looks like we have some busy times ahead. And in fact, we do have three systems on the map. We are watching this afternoon over in the eastern Pacific. We have Tropical Storm K, which will be moving generally uh, towards the west-northwest away from Mexico. is not expected to cause any impacts. Next, we are still tracking Tropical Storm Fiona, which is located here in the uh, Central Atlantic. It is expected to weaken uh, back to a depression, maybe even an open wave here over the next few days. While we can't completely take our eyes off Fiona, Right now, it's not expected to impact any portions of the United States. Um, if you are in Bermuda, Fiona is something to keep an eye on as uh, the official forecast track from the National Hurricane Center does bring the system uh, or whatever's left of it fairly close to the island. But I do want to stress the, the weaker Fiona gets, the further west it may get and it could linger out here in the Western Atlantic, especially if some of the forecast models are correct. We have a high pressure ridge that developed somewhere over the uh, northern western Atlantic. Um, it could uh, trap it in the short term uh, and keep it from really you know, making a hard ride out to sea. But that's something that is uh, not forecast at the moment, but can't totally take our eyes off Fiona. Behind Fiona, we have uh, Desin Invest 99L, which is designated in the last 24 hours or so. Um, it formed uh, from a wave that moved off the coast of Africa. And that will be the highlight of today's video. And even behind Invest 99L, we do have a wave just on the coast of Africa, which uh, we will talk uh, a little bit more here in just a moment. If we take a look at the official outlook from the National Hurricane Center, they are uh, calling for Invest 99L to have a 50% chance of development during the next five days. And here's the wave currently located over extreme western Africa set to move offshore in the next day or two. This system also has a 50% chance of development both in the medium category. And uh, I do want to stress that uh, these shaded areas are not cones that are issued by the National Hurricane Center. It just simply means uh, this system could develop anywhere in this shaded region. Um, but it is important to note we're not expecting 99L to develop in the next two or three days. Chances are low at about 10% that it develops over the next 48 hours and same uh, goes for this next system which should be designated as Invest 90L in the next couple days. One unique feature to the Hurricane Tracker app is we do also issue our own outlooks uh, sometimes a little faster than the National Hurricane Center as data is changing every six hours. Based on the latest data from this morning and so far this afternoon, we do see a little bit higher chance, still in the medium category, 60% chance that 99L will develop. And right now, uh, of course, this will change going forward, uh, whether it's up or down. But right now, one in five chance that uh, in the long term, 99L could become a hurricane. So keep in mind, there's still a 40% chance that this will not develop. Uh, it's not a guarantee, and it definitely won't happen in the next two to three days. All right, I want to pull up a uh, satellite view, infrared satellite of uh, Invest 99L. First thing you're going to notice, there's not a lot of uh, thunderstorms and convection associated with it. Uh, it lost a lot of its convection it's had over the last 24 to 36 hours. Uh, but it is important to note it does have a uh, defined broad circulation, a very, very weak surface low, and a large, very large, actually, moisture envelope. So. Uh, one can say that uh, you know the structure is there. It's just lacking uh, any deep convection. And part of that is the dry, dusty Saharan air layers located just to its north, and that will impact, uh, will sorry, will inhibit this system from developing over the next uh, two to three days. I want to pull up the latest computer model guide. It's mainly from overnight early this morning. Uh, 
just about all of the major models at this point are forecasting 99L to become at least a depression, if not a low end tropical storm, uh, mainly on approach uh, to the eastern um, Caribbean islands, uh, especially the northeastern Caribbean islands. Uh, some models are a little stronger than others, but we are pretty confident in this track that it will head generally towards the, uh, the eastern Caribbean Sea. And we are so confident that we won't have a hurricane or a very strong tropical storm headed towards the Caribbean Sea. And we'll talk more about uh, possible impacts and uh, alert levels for this portion of the basin in just a moment. Also, the Hurricane Tracker app, we like to uh, collect all of the avail available data every 12 to 18 hours. Um, not really put out a forecast. That's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to show potential based on what the models are showing, if we have enough confidence that, that the uh, models are onto something or that there's a decent chance they could be right. With that in mind, and also in mind that this is subject to large errors, um, again, we, we spec this to stay in invest over the next uh, two, three days, possibly even into Tuesday. We may need to change this to an invest here in our next outlook, but we're not really expecting this system to become a uh, depression or name storm until at least late Tuesday into Thursday uh, somewhere here in this part of the basin. Um, of course as always further out in time the track does get wider it could end up uh, here in the Caribbean Sea or even uh, you know a few hundred miles north of the islands and at this time we're not even going to speculate on possible impacts to the southeast United States coast or even the Gulf Coast for that matter. Um, as right now, beyond Thursday, the models are all over the place. Uh, some of the models have this system, you know, weakening into a remnant wave. Some of them have it curving between Bermuda and the United States. Some of the models show uh, it going towards Miami. And then lately, the GFS has been showing it maybe even getting out to the central or eastern Gulf. So really, anyone from Texas to Bermuda, it's a very wide cone uh, later next week and the next weekend. Just know something's out there and that the forecast will change. Uh, check in with us and with our app at Hurricane Tracker, uh, the Hurricane Tracker app, and we'll definitely keep you updated with the latest information. But here in the short term, within the next uh, you know four or five days, we're primarily going to be focused on possible impacts to the northeastern uh, Caribbean islands, uh, you know Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the U.S. British Virgin Islands, the northern central and northern end of the Lesser Antilles, as we could have a depression or low-end tropical storm Gaston, again, moving through the region, you know, somewhere uh, in this fashion here, middle part of the week. Um, again, chances are very low that this would be anything more than a, a low-end tropical storm. But again, uh, this is a four or five-day outlook and uh, keep checking in. Right now, we've issued guarded alert levels. All that basically means is just be on alert that something's out there, something could develop. No real action is needed at this point. Just, of course, make sure you have a, a, a plan in place, as many of you already do, since we are uh, headed towards the heart of the hurricane season. But uh, definitely, activities picking up. We do have, again, Invest 99L. Um, that is a threat to develop over the next uh, seven days. We have a new wave coming off the coast of Africa which also has a high chance of development. I do want to mention with that wave coming off of Africa, a recurve into the Central Atlantic is not a guarantee at this point. We've seen some runs in the very long term tracking this system uh, pretty far west. Uh, but again, we'll keep an eye on that one. Of course, Tropical Storm Fiona, the weaker Fiona gets the, gets the further west it could track. And uh, you know, just something we need to keep an eye on. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in our in our product, the Hurricane Tracker app, check it out at www.hertracker.com, H-U-R-R, tracker.com. And uh, you can also follow us on our social media as well. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with another uh, video update as conditions warrant. And hope everyone enjoys their weekend. Thank you.